First of all, I need to congratulate Judge Goodwin on handing Christina Robinson her second loss in a year regarding temporary restraining orders in his courtroom. But that will come next week when I post the audio from that exchange yesterday. Now then, folks, in our splendid little rental home, there's one beautiful lady, two vintage sobs, two motorcycles, two pretty puppies, and zero food stamps. Hmm, that will become relevant in a moment. Uh, now, the folks at Christina Robinson's hate blog are almost funny. What they really are are a bunch of hateful, foul-mouthed people of limited vision. Folks, if your reckless conduct of leaving dogs alone for 45 minutes in the presence of your own pack on your own pack's turf, with your pack having pit bulls in it, results in the mauling death of our dog, then guess what? You're going to buy us a new dog and then some. And, well, they should. It's that kind of attitude I'm exhibiting that's admired by Christina Robinson's husband, Ahadu Amlek Tarada, a YouTube channel follower of mine, until the focus of some of my efforts became Precious Paws' shoddy business practices. Okay, That act alone of leaving the dogs the way that Christina Robinson did demonstrates either a fundamental ignorance of how dogs operate or a complete recklessness as to how they operate. Either way, her license should have been summarily yanked. That's the point. Okay? That's simple stuff here. Now, as to uh, her people threatening to call the animal control officer <laughs> about us having too many dogs at the house, well, the animal control officer lives on our rented little street. Okay? He's a Volvo guy, but I won't hold that against him. Now, let's get back to those food stamps. This is a quote from someone who has direct knowledge of the statement from Christina Robinson, okay? Uh, it's Sarah Elsler who talked with her on one occasion, on more than one occasion, and this is what she reports to me, okay? She says, yeah, of course. She told me the way to get food stamps was to make a profit and loss list, basically making it look like I have more loss than profit. She said the reason why she knows that is because she did it with her company, so she can get assistance. Well, so then Sarah says, well, let me tell you, I did not do what she said because I may be a single mom who does not receive child support to this day and was struggling financially at the time because of a new business venture. But why should the state have to pay for me wanting to start a business? It's called being smart with your money. But Christina is all about the help me, help me, I need money. I've seen at least two GoFundMe type accounts for her, which is pathetic because she doesn't need it. Oh, and for the record, I was a medical uh, assistant and radiologist for a doctor in Bellevue for about five years before I started my coffee stand venture and party business. So her trying to make it sound like I was a bikini barista lowlife is just a comical uh, event. Yeah, try. I worked there when I was 19 and 20 and 21, but thank you. Lots of laughs. Makes me laugh how hard she is trying to portray something to get out of her own mess and killing so many animals. Yeah. Oh, oh, and as to the animals that keep dying there. Yeah, let's talk about that for a minute, okay? The roster includes... The family cat, which was you know, potentially a nuisance according to Mount Lake Terrace Code because it was killed in the neighbor's house. And then you have, obviously, Livy, who was killed due to completely reckless conduct. And now we have Bullet, her least favorite pit bull, who was put down. And we don't know why Bullet was put down yet. But we'll find out. I guess the final report was, was out by the city yesterday. But I don't believe that there's any directive to put Bullet down. You know, was it a sympathy killing? I don't know. But we're going to find out more about that. But in any event, so we have three dead animals at this residence, okay, under the control or alleged control of Christina Robinson. How many more must die before the state does something about this woman? She's a menace to society, in my humble opinion. Livy, this is for you, kid. We love you. We love you. We love you. And we miss you.